So one last thing I have to teach you before I can let you do the assignments is point encoding. So we need some form of encoding for points in case we use them for example in the elliptic curve de Hellman because the other party needs to know how to interpret this point. So there's a relatively straightforward standard for that. So usually the first byte of the transmitted point shows what encoding is used. So the first byte will either have the value 2, 3 or 4. 4 just means okay, the x and y coordinate are included, so the first bytes are x coordinates and then the, the other bytes are y coordinates. A leading to means that only the x coordinate is included. Now the problem here is that there are two points with the same x coordinate, right? Two inverse points. So 0, 2 means that the y coordinate is even. So we use the x coordinate, compute the y coordinate using the curve equation, and then using and then check for the y coordinate and use the even one. And this is also sometimes referred to as point compression. However, we see a different and better type of point compression next week. So, 0, 3, leading 0, 3, uh, also just means that only the x coordinate is included, but that the resulting y coordinate should be odd. So this works since we work with modulus prime number and primes by definition are of course always odd as long as they're larger than two. And so working in a finite field, the y coordinate, there's one y coordinate to each x coordinate that is odd and one that is even. 